in toolkit 6.6 spent uh, a lot of effort working on making the view to SID file associations or SID specification associations uh, easier to manage and work with. Um, we've had a lot of feedback from tool developers that uh, this process can be pretty difficult and take quite a lot of time. I've got a tool open here, single view. Um, as you can see in the property editor for the view, there's a new editor for this. In the past, it just showed you the SID specification, and there was a button that you press which opened a separate dialog, which then you had to open another dialog to select the SID file from, and that whole process could be very slow. Um, one thing we did is we made the SID file parsing faster and so the lists populate themselves much faster now and so that's going to help with the time uh, needed to uh, to find these um, so you know you just have to select one out of the list straight here in the editor another thing that we added is right in the editor you can just type in your SID file name if you know it if there's just a you know a date changing or something like that it's really easy to modify that um, and then as you'll see I changed that and so now the uh, the SID file got changed on the components tab that I used to design with um, we also added the ability to have one or more SID files associated with a view, with a device and a view. Um, some of the products like GAP and MotoHawk, um, they they create a new SID specification with every SID file that's generated. And so for tool developers that work with those products, they've always had to have a separate view for each one of the SID files, which uh, can create a lot of headaches with all the sharing and all the views. Um, so what we've done now is you're now able to associate the view with more than one SID file. So that's all you have to do is come in here and select another SID file and say add. And now both of these SID files are associated with this device in the view one. This list is unlimited, so you can add as many SID files to this as you want. Um, so Toolkit will automatically, when a customer connects to a device, it'll look up the SID file that the device is using, and it will find the view associated with that SID, SID, SID file and display it. Um, because you can add multiple, we've now given you the ability to remove them. Um, there's also in here you can see a checkbox which allows you to set which SID file is the default and the default is used when you're developing your tool so if I go over to the components tab you'll see that for that device that's the SID file that's being used in the components tree there so if I were to switch it over to this one then you'll come in here and you'll see that that changed and so the this list here will change with whichever SID file is set as the default um, so that's the way you as a tool developer can determine which SID file you wanna develop from if I were to make a shared copy of this view you'll see that it has the same mappings that get copied over so then you know, say you did have enough changes to your application that you wanted a new view, um, you would then come in here and you could remove ones or just modify the ones that are in here to something else that you would want to uh, associate it with. And so really simple, really straightforward. Uh, hopefully this will reduce the amount of time it takes uh, for you guys to develop your tools and, and do the uh, reassociation as well as um, reduce the complexity of the tools with being able to have multiple SID files associated with a single device.